and we're on a youth hunt, Kansas, and it's September the 13th. December 15th, we're hunting in Northwest Arkansas on some private property. Early muzzleloader hunting, Kansas, and green beans, and hot. You can tell I get most. The choice begins now. No matter the weapon, no matter the season, the choice is simple. Just hunt. Featuring North America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicky, and the posse. Watch out. Welcome to this week's The Choice. Yep. This and week? Wait a minute. Stop. What? There's a hole there. Any excuse, any excuse. This week we're in a winter wonderland. Yes, we are. <laughs> and the weather is frightful. Yes, it is. Actually, this week we're going to go to Kansas and Arkansas. We're going to join we some posse and we're going to go hunt America. The most sought after big game animal on this planet. That's right. The, the white tailed, -tailed deer. deer. And this week, the lucky logo. SWD, baby. The lucky, lucky logo. logo this week is Hunter Safety Systems. And someone. System that saves lives. That's right. And if you see the logo, which is kind of like a tree, and it's got a little yellow writing in there and stuff like that. That's yeah, pretty not, hard. There's a lot of trees yeah, here, Vic. A little pine tree like thing. Um, if you see the logo at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do. And someone is actually going to win an awesome Hunter Safety System. Which you know, is really keep them cool. Keep safe up in the stand. So the first hunt we're going to go to is Hunter and Low. Really? Posse member, the youth. It's the youth Kansas season. He's got his TC. And well, early season, I don't think it's snowing, is it? September 14th, so we're going to take Hunter over here. We've got a big alfalfa field we're going to set on this evening, so hopefully we can uh, get over there and see something coming in. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get our stuff loaded up, and we're going to head down the road. It's getting pretty late in the evening. They won't be out till last thing, so we're going to go get it done this evening. Hopefully Hunter can get her done. I'm glad. You can tell I get emotional.
Right there, right here, baby. All right, come here. <laughs> Get a hold of that bad boy. Get a hold of that bad boy. Beautiful, beautiful evening. Pretty sunset. Everything about it was good. Big giant deer. Big mature deer. No doubt a big mature deer. So. Working some overhanging limbs. Yeah, he worked, over, he worked overhanging limbs. We love it. We love to hunt. Fresh back straps tonight. <laughs> hey, we got to give a lot of credit to Hunter. Yeah. But most of all, we got to give it to Hunter's dad, Scott. Absolutely. Hunter, Scott, you guys did awesome. Congratulations. What a great shot with his TC. That's it. And he's pumped. And I he mean, that, there, there's another dad, you know, Gro saving our heritage. Up, exactly. Growing our sport over and over. You go, guys. Thanks Absolutely. for that footage. And now you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, we're going to join Bucky yeah, in Kansas. In Kansas. And on his dad's property. Did, yeah, on his dad's property. wonder so, why his dad lets him even hunt his property. I don't know. But I guess you'll have to come back and find out. You know why? I don't know. Have Bucky get his own the property. The snow is getting worse. Come on, Dad. Just say, hey, Bucky, get out. Get out of here. Go, go. Well, we got to... Okay, this is... Welcome back to Choice. Ralph. What? Did you see the tracks here? Okay. We're trying to film openers. There's a major snowstorm going Joe, on. Joe, Z, look at these tracks. Look at... This is how it is to work around here. It's impossible. It's coming so, up right hey, here. Bucky, let's join you out there. Let's Guys, see look what at the tracks here. With your Hoyt while I go and... We shouldn't be doing... We, should, we should be hunting. Snow. Who knows? I don't know. Ralph, we gotta finish this. We're heading to my dad's ranch, which we love being there, love being with the dad. He's built this ranch from scratch. He's got food plots in. This should be just it, phenomenal. I'm looking, I'm still looking forward to this. It's be great. Yeah, I got him. I got him. He's going down, Kevin. I think he's going down right there. I don't see him at all anymore right now. He's... <laughs> Give me some, dude. Give me some. <laughs> That's a nice buck. Real nice wide eight point. 50 yard shot. Put the 50 yard pin on him. I did hit him back, but there was blood dumping out of him. Good buck, good buck. Thank God, thank the Lord, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> I, I, I seen him run around, blood was dumping out of him. I seen him whirl this way, then he whirled that way. And I think that he was going down. I think he was going down. Time for Thermosel's tip of the week. Get out of here, Skeeters! What we're showing you this week is real simple. It's a 20, Ameristep's 24-foot climbing stick. The reason it's 24-foot, not that you have to get up to 25-foot. However, if you put your 24-foot stick up here like this, it gives you more points of contact as you're climbing to be safer. That's what it's all about. Put that 24-footer up. You see that we're about four foot below the top, so it gives us way more control, way more gripping power. And then when you get up here, you're all safe put your hunter safety system on. What we, we also use this for our pack packs. We hang stuff on here. Not only does it help break up that human silhouette, but it's also giving you a little bit more camouflage. That is your thermocell tip of the week. You know, have you noticed something when Bucky and Kevin, it's normally always Bucky hunting and Kevin filming, and then Buck Kevin sits out in the cold and freezes. Bucky has like a heated, heated condo with a toilet. What's up with this? That's hunting style there. Find this deer. It should be dead right up here. And yeah, we got blood. Just 
dumping out of him. I mean, immediately there was blood coming out of him. Excellent blood trail. I can already see him. I can already see him laying up here. <laughs> he didn't go. He didn't go 70 yards. 50 yards. <laughs> look at that deer. Probably a, that's a, look at that Roman nose on him. Four and a half year old buck that definitely needed to be taken out of the herd. One thing I wish was my dad was here to share this with me. Like I said earlier, we, we built that, that tower stand together. He does all the food plots in here. He's had this property for five years. This is the first deer to be taken off of it. This is an excellent deer to be taken off of this place. Excellent deer. Hey, Kevin, great filming. Oh, Bucky, good, good shot too. Yeah, congrats, Bucky. Yeah. Next. When you come back from commercial break, we're going to join the Crazy Bean Brothers. The beans. Darren's out there yep. early muzzleloader season, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I don't think it's snowing there either. Welcome back to the choice. Yes, Ralph thinks he's a big thing. What's your song? I'm a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, let's just go on in with Darren Beam, and he's in Kansas on an early season yep. muzzleloader hunt. The Bean Brothers are going at it again. It's late September, 20... 4th, 25th, somewhere in there. Early muzzleloader hunting, Kansas, and green beans, and hot. We're hoping that they're eating on the beans pretty hard. Well, here's what we're doing. It's late September, we're in Kansas. It's the first time Kansas has let residents hunt with any weapon for one buck. And we are sitting on a bean field with the with the Thompson Center. And we're gonna try to shoot as a deer tonight. Saw a little yearling doe when we pulled up. So we're hoping that's a good sign. Dude, how'd that work out?
very first 10, early season muzzle loaders. We broke the Thompson Center out. We come over here last weekend. We're in Kansas, and they've got this early muzzle loader season. And boys, if you got a chance, take advantage of it. Because this is the September rut. Heck with that November rut. They're a whole lot more predictable this way. Get them coming out in a bean field, get them coming out to Milo, whatever, Alfalfa, alpha, you know, that early season stuff. You can see a lot of deer. You know, we had mama and two yearlings, another doe, another buck with this one. You know, they're still grouped up, bachelored up pretty good. It's kind of cool, a whole lot of fun. You never know. You might get a crack at the biggest one of your life. And so far, that's him. Sweet. That is fun. I got a long fall in front of me because Jake's going to be choosy and I'm going to get to run the camera a lot. I got a feeling. <laughs> hey, you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back. When we come back, we're going to join our Arkansas boys. They're going to go muzzleload hunting too. Eric finally maybe sealed a deal on that big buck he's been chasing. Oh. And the Thanks. Beamer, Darren. Darren, congratulations, buddy. That yeah, was awesome. Bud, that's awesome. It was cool. It really, you know what? Look at this. Look at this. Wow, that's beautiful. Welcome back to the choice. It's still snowing. It is, and you're looking more and more like a snowman. And what are you? Thank you. Well, let's, should we see if Eric? Eric and Scott can close the deal. If they can close the deal in Arkansas. You know, that's what's cool. It's all, you gotta go potty? No, it's getting cold oh, out okay, here. Oh, okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> let's see if they can close the deal. <laughs> We've, we've literally pulled in to run these deer out of the field. We're sitting in a about a 10 acre, basically a food plot, and we've got deer coming in there every night. Had a, a nice seven point and a spike. There's three of them, they're, they're winning the third one. Hope it wasn't the big one we're hunting for. I've been hunting one with a bow for about a month and a half now. He's coming out every night. Hopefully, I've never killed anything with a muzzleloader. This is the first time we're gonna go, we're gonna set up. We've uh, got our blind set out in the middle of the field. Hopefully we can, uh, get after him killing this evening, but uh, just hang out with us and we'll see what happens. Is what it's all about. Yes, yes, yes. I've heard for that deer. Yes. Got him on film. Oh, yes. Give him five. Got him. Yes. It's uh, northwest Arkansas, December 15th. 20 degrees outside. First snow. My first, first snow of the year and my first muzzleloader kill. I can't be happy with that deer right there. Northwest Arkansas. Hey, we sure hope you enjoyed this week's choice, and we want to thank all the posse members. Well, we want to congratulate Eric, too, because yeah. we congratulate the rest of them. Congratulations, yes. Eric, on that Eric, awesome you walk. go, buddy. All season, that's dedication. That is dedication, and dedication is standing out here in a snowstorm. <laughs> yep. But you know what? That's what it's all about. We it want is. to thank you. Yes, and, and that we appreciate all of you guys watching, and we want to thank all of our posse being out there and and our partners with, and our partners and yep. what else? Oh, if you happen to see the lucky logo, the Hunter, Hunter Safety, Safety System. Systems, then you need to log on to ChoiceTV.com, fill out some information, let it go, and someone like we said is going to win That's right. an awesome pot package from Hunter Safety Systems. So thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. <laughs>